Well, ladies and gents, it's been a while, and today is just a special day, a tiring day, and we call it Friday. And today, we do this easy small block, finally. It's a special day because today is the pre-order day of the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Ult uh, Plus. I was about to say Ultra. I went ahead and uh, got myself and the wife some new iPhones. We will probably be trading in the uh, iPhone 5S that she owns, the 16 gig Gold. And um, we will be getting around 530, no, not like two, 330 dollars for it maybe to cover the cost. Um, give me one second. Always making left turns. Always seems more difficult because people driving the opposite way tend to drive slower. <coughs> it's quite annoying when people that don't know how to drive drive. So. Back to the subject we were talking about, we will be getting the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. We will both be getting the Gold One, 16 gig. We don't need that much. We do have around 14 to 30 days, I believe, to decide if we like those. If not, we'll just uh, trade them up and get some bigger storage. But we'll decide on that at a later date. Now, the, the talk about this, the interesting field in this video log is the disastrous, the annoyance of the pre-order that happened last night in the middle of the night. Every other carrier had announced that they would have the pre-orders set up for um, 2 a.m. Central Standard Time, which uh, coincides with. 2 o'clock in the morning coincides with um, 12 Pacific time and 3 a.m. Eastern time. So I really don't pay attention to those times. I'm always in the Central Standard. So so I waited. I went ahead and uh, went to sleep. I was really tired, and I put an alarm for 1:50. When I woke up, I was ready for this, and. Uh, when the time came, the pages went totally slow because I know massive amounts of people wanted to get the iPhone. And I was on T-Mobile, I didn't go to the Apple Store, but I was checking all the cell phone providers and the Apple Store to check, you know, if they were selling it, how their websites were working. Surprisingly, Verizon was the only one working perfectly, smoothly, and with the iPhone 6 ready to pre-order. While I was uh, trying to load the T-Mobile page, it just kept on loading and loading, giving errors, you know, being laggy. The Sprint was down also. The AT&T store was down also. The um, AT&T was down for a while. But it says uh, it'll, it will keep refreshing, and it did refresh to a point where it started letting you pre-order. I was going to pre-order from them, obviously, I'm with T-Mobile. And, and it was quite simple, because they knew how to control it. They had automatic refreshers and everything, you know. So, Verizon was the best company out there that handled the pre-orders correctly. Then at and came next. Then after that, it was around 3-something almost 4 o'clock, 3.50 I believe and yet I had not seen the uh, T-Mobile store show any iPhone 6 available for pre-order it was sometimes where it allowed me to see you know the devices that I was able to upgrade to from my current device but no iPhone 6 anywhere to be seen so it was really you know a long night especially if you're tired have to work the next day it happens to the best of us but 
So it, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that good. It's just a device, it's a thing in our life, you know, we shouldn't get mad over stuff like that. It, we already knew it was gonna happen, especially with T-Mobile. It happened on, with my G3. I had pre-ordered it when I was in Florida and all of a sudden AT&T shows up saying that they're gonna release it on the 11th of, uh, I think it was July. Next thing you know, we're getting we're getting delivery dates well after the, I think it was the 18th of July that uh, the G3 was supposed to be released. And I was like, oh man, that's ridiculous. How is AT&T gonna be too Timo, you know? How, how is that gonna happen? How are you gonna let another company do that? Come in and uh, beat you out. That's just ridiculous. Seriously? Because you couldn't let me go in. <laughs>